everyone, Danny Webster here with PocketNow.com, and today I'm going to show you a new panel for the Sony Ericsson Xperia X1 called Home 2 by Point UI, and I'll post a link on PocketNow.com as to how to get this. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice is this interface is pretty colorful, and you'll see the time and the date, as well as the weather forecast, the current weather, as well as the high and the low, and a graphic that indicates what the weather is like outside, and this is by AccuWeather.com. You can click on this and select cities. There's not too many cities to choose from. It's mainly most uh, major cities around the world. You can go back. Okay, and this next tab over here is for tomorrow. And it's the same thing. It shows appointments and your, uh, your weather for tomorrow. And below this, we have a Google News ticker that will show you the current news around the world. And below this, we have applets that you can add different ones to, or you can have a slideshow as well as the world. We'll go to the world and show you that. And it'll show you a, like a graphic of the world and give you the time of a city that you can select in there as well. Okay, so the next one we can do is call history. I'm not going to click that because I don't think my friends and family want all their phone numbers broadcast on the internet. Okay, this one right here is actually programs. And this, this interface allows you to add up to 12 different programs. And the cool thing about this is, watch, you can move them around. So you can select whichever ones you want to be at the highest priority whichever ones you want to be at the lowest priority. So you can also delete them, select whichever ones you want from your programs list. So we can go back. Next thing we have is contacts. And this will allow you to add up 12 different contacts. And the same thing like the programs, you can move them around. And if you want your best friend to be first, then you got them up there. Okay, so then you can also delete them as well. Oh. And down here is all contacts. I'll show you that in just a second. So go back. Okay, here's our messaging. Wait for that to load, and it doesn't really load anything too spectacular. It's just the Windows Mobile proprietary messaging thing, so you can just go back out of that. But it is nice that it's, there's a button right there to use. Okay, so right here's Menu, and this allows you to see running programs. And I have Contacts and Active Sync running, so we can go back. And this will show all of your programs, and it's a touch scroll interface, and it works very well with finger or stylus. So we can go back. And now settings. It's pretty basic. It does have all your personal settings, but the uh, the connections are pretty basic. It's not as good as going up to start and down to settings. So we'll go back. Okay, and if you can see this little point UI graphic down here, if we click on this, it actually brings us to their blog, community documents, gear, whatever, if you want to buy something, I guess. And it also shows this, this Home 2 Pro. So it says coming soon. Won't click on that because it'll just load uh, the Internet Explorer. So we'll go back. And down here, it also is a, a band, a reception bar, as well as battery life. And right here is contacts. And this is the same flip scroll thing. You can just go through your contacts. Okay, and that's uh, point UIs. Home too, and it's also available on any Windows Mobile device, and it works on landscape as well. Uh, any device that has QVGA, WQVGA, VGA, and WVGA, and you, I'll post a link on PocketNow.com how, how to get that. This is Daniel Webster, PocketNow.com. Thanks for watching.